Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you guys how to make instant garlic mashed potatoes. I know, I know, I always use regular potatoes but tonight I'm going to show you guys who are not comfortable with either using potatoes or you don't have potatoes. You have instant potatoes at home and you need to use them. You're not just going to throw them out, right? You need to know what to do with them. So I'm going to show you a really great quick, quick recipe for garlic mashed potatoes and we're not even using the, that garlic either. We're going to use this awesome stuff from Drogaria. This is Drogaria or Organic Garlic Grinder, and it's just like a pepper grinder or a chili grinder, but garlic comes out. How cool is that, right? All nice dehydrated garlic. Such a good flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick things up. Now, in my pot here on the stove on a medium-high heat, I have two-thirds of a cup of water. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of salt in here. I have about two tablespoons of butter. You can put up to four if you want to, but we're gonna go with two today. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of salt, and I have measured out one and one third cups of instant mashed potato flakes. Now these are just potato flakes that have been dried and flakes, right? And you're going to use them, you're gonna rehydrate them with water and with milk, and you're gonna make them into mashed potatoes. Got me? Instead of mashing them from fresh, you already have them mashed, and now you just need to wet them and cook them, right? So we have this boiling. And I'm also going to grind in about 15 to 20 grinds of this organic garlic grinder from Dragaria. Okay, so this has come up to a boil. See how fast that was? Come up to a boil. And I'm going to gently stir in my potato flakes, okay? As well as my milk. And now I've let my milk sit out so that it's room, more room temperature. Stir it in. Allow that the potatoes to soak up all that liquid. Now, if your potatoes aren't warm anymore, like um, it was a second ago with that hot water, pull up them back on a really super low heat. I love using my gas stove because it allows me to get that really nice low heat without scorching the bottom of my pot and anything that's in it. So I'm just fluffing it with a fork. I'm going to put a couple more grinds of this Dragaria in. I'm also going to adjust the seasoning. I'm going to put a bunch of uh, freshly cracked black pepper. I love that. Now tonight we're eating ham. I'm serving this alongside some ham and some green beans. Now I'm going to taste it before I put any more salt in because I don't know if I actually need it or not. And these look pretty good. Now, if you want to put some more butter in, if you like them really buttery, which I might do upon serving, um, that's what you can do. I'm gonna grab my Mommy, would you like to try these super oh, fast sure. mashed sure. potatoes? Sure. And see how we did? Yep. I'm not fit to be seen on camera. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Mm. Right? Very good. So if you're in a bind and you don't have fresh potatoes and you happen to have these um, flaked ones or if that's what you're used to and just don't know how to doctor them up, that's a great way to do it. This is serious bang for your buck with this with this spice, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's really nice. I didn't have to mash anything up and get everything all dirty and stinky with garlic. Right. This is this is beautiful and you can control exactly how much you so want. So both of these spices that I added to re-season, I didn't need any more salt by the way, the salt was perfect. These spices that I added, you can get these at Qualifirst Foods, that's qualifirst.com online, super fast shipping. They have some really great imported stuff from all over the world, awesome foodie stuff. Really great um, gift ideas for Christmas, etc. And these are tasty. Make sure you check them out. Bang for your buck. You can totally revamp your kitchen repertoire with a couple jars of new spices. Easy peasy, right? And actually, anyway, you, say you can add more butter or you can put cream in there. You can put cream, exactly. And I forgot to say I'm using whole milk. The uh, higher the percentage of fat of the milk, the creamier and, and more delectable these potatoes are going to be. But if you're trying to save save um, calories and you want to, you're trying to lose weight, then go ahead and use skim. These would be great when you use, make uh, cheese and potato pierogies to use. For Ooh, that would be good. They're the perfect consistency for that. There you go. If you guys didn't hear that, my mom says these would be the perfect consistency for cheese and potato pierogies for using that for the filling, mixing them with cheddar cheese. Anyhow, that's what they look like. And I'll tell you what, they look like real mashed potatoes, like the fresh ones from fresh potatoes, and don't they? they? And they actually, taste delicious. I'm surprised. And mom was cynical <laughs> to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. Mom was cynical. 
So she, we won her over. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put a little bit more butter in when we serve it with mm -hmm. our ham and stuff, and it's going to be awesome. But in the meantime, that's how you make quick, quick instant garlic mashed potatoes. Wow. Great for Thanksgiving, great for Christmas. I was done in, like what? Great when Five minutes? A quick supper to make. Five minutes, I would say. Anyhow, that's it, that's all. That's how you make instant garlic mashed potatoes. Say bye, Mom. Bye-bye. I'm on over. Check mom out at ingridturnertoday.com. All right, everybody, follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. Check me out on YouTube at youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly or ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.